Hey everyone, Pastor Evan here. I wanted to continue our series on the Ordo Salutis, which is the order of salvation. And I wanted to focus on a couple different terms as we talk about that today. We are going to focus on the terms election, calling, and regeneration. So election is this term that, if we were to define it, is essentially God's choice. That this, when we talk about salvation, we talk about the order of salvation. Salvation is 100% God's choice. God chooses who's going to be saved. And that's, that is pretty remarkable because it reminds us that this is 100% God's work. This is 100% a gift from him. So when we are saved, when we have faith in Jesus, this is actually a gift from God, as Ephesians chapter 2 says. And so when we look back on Ephesians chapter 1, especially verse 4, it says this, that he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. And that's really amazing that even before God created the world, he chose who's going to be saved, who's going to be a follower of Jesus, who's going to be his child. And, and that's pretty remarkable. It's comforting too because it's securing. But as we talk about the order of salutis, like kind of the order of salvation, the two things I really want to talk about today are calling and regeneration. Calling it what and what theologians would maybe call effectual calling. Effectual calling essentially says that when God calls us, it's effective. That when God summons us, we have no choice but to respond to that summons. Now you might get an invitation in the mail for a wedding or a party, and you can decline that and say you're not gonna be not gonna attend, but when you're summoned, say by a king, you show up. Now, the calling that we're talking about here is one of salvation. And so what Jesus says in John 6, 44, he says, No one can come to me unless what? The Father who sent me draws him. We can't come to Jesus unless God draws us. So that is the effectual call of God. And so the Westminster Shorter Catechism says this, that God pers this effectual calling is God who persuades us and enables us to embrace Jesus. See, sin is such a barrier that we actually need to be enabled and persuaded, and only God can do that. And so when God calls us, he summons us, it is effective, we will respond. So no one will come to Jesus, as he says, unless the Father draws him. And so you think about this spiritually, Ephesians chapter 2 says, you are dead, and you were dead in your trespasses and sins, and God made you alive. God did it. So you look at, think about Jesus, the story of Jesus and Lazarus, where Lazarus is dead. Can Lazarus raise himself from the dead? No. But Jesus calls the Lazarus and summons him out of the grave. And the same thing happens to us spiritually. We are dead. We are in the grave of sin. And Jesus calls to us and we respond. Isn't that beautiful? It's a wonderful thing to think about where you and I couldn't actually save ourselves. We couldn't actually make ourselves alive, but Jesus called to us and made us alive. And so what happens then is we, our hearts are regenerated. And that essentially means is, is new birth. So Jesus talks to Nicodemus in John chapter three. He says that you must be what? Born again. You must have a new birth. Now Nicodemus says like, well, what do you mean? I have to go in my mother's womb again? And Jesus says, no, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a spiritual birth. You need to be spiritually reborn. And so a book I've been using a lot is John Frame's Salvation Belongs to the Lord. Definitely recommend it. Uh, and he says this about... a of effectual calling and regeneration as effectual calling calls us into union with christ so regeneration is our union with him in his resurrection life so regeneration is our union with jesus in jesus resurrection and so jesus says this in nicodemus says truly truly unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of god so you and i actually have to be regenerated before we can have faith. So the Holy Spirit has to do this remarkable, miraculous work in our hearts. Remember, our hearts are dead. God calls us. God regenerates our hearts, makes our hearts anew and refreshed, and we have new birth. And what happens then? We respond and we put our faith in Jesus. So I know it's common, and I do it oftentimes where I say, 
uh, you need to put your faith in Jesus to be born again, to be saved. And that's not necessarily true, but that's more from our angle. It appears that we are, are the ones who are putting our faith in Jesus, but really that's actually God regenerating our hearts and making them new. Giving us, in the Old Testament, say like hearts of stone, taking hearts of stones and making hearts of flesh. So this is all ways of talking about regeneration. And so I hope that's encouraging to you because I think it's, and it's encouraging to me because this is 100% God's work. It's not anything Evan did or could do to save himself, but God does it all. And so what we'll see is God does the beginning, middle, and end of our salvation. God does it all. And so God will also secure this and make sure that in eternity we will spend in eternity with him. So we'll get onto that more later. But again, these are the things I want us to think about election and then specifically calling and regeneration. I hope it's a blessing to you. And again, hope to see you soon. Have a great day.